What's up guys, it's LB Gaming and today I'm going to be dual booting um, Windows 2 um, Linux Linux Core Plus <coughs> which is my SanDisk Cruiser Glide this is my Windows drive so let's select USB I'm just going to hit enter You guys want to see my headphones? Here they are. They are Plantronics uh, Gamecom 307 Gaming Pro Gaming headset. Got them at Best Buy for 20 bucks. All right. So this is Core. Yeah. So it's got Wi-Fi, of course. Um. And I will be connecting to mine. I'm not going to show my password. And now we're connected to Wi Fi. Uh, and you can't get apps, but you can. Let's just get some autofocus. So as you can tell, this looks quite like Mac, but without the bar up here. Um, it's very quick, speedy. Um, the thing I'm using, the USB I'm using, is a SanDisk Cruiser Glide 8GB, even though this is a 72MB operating system. Yes, I said 72MB. Now you guys are probably wondering, how do you open the file? So, in your doc, there's a program called Editor. Open it. Um, I'm just going to type something very professional. So, hold on. Alright, so I wrote, this is a file that is very cool and sophisticated. Um, I'll write something else, too. This OS is epic. Thanks to the... And as you can see, you can have run-on sentences. I could go forever. That's all on one line. So this is everything I wrote. This is a file that is very cool and sophisticated. This OS is epic. Thanks to the creator for making it. It's very quick. Quicker than Windows Seven um, Oh, God. What the Hold on. We screwed it up. Mm. 
Okay, I got that fixed. I know what camera I'm filming with. I'm actually filming with my phone, which is a HTC Resound 4G LTE. Uh, you guys are probably wondering how you save, so you can go. Yeah, yeah. It's an Epic OS. Very quick. So, file. Save file as. Save it at just slash home. And I will call it file dot. No, I'll call it quick. O S dot T X T hit enter oh, hit OK and it's saved. <clears throat> now you guys are probably wondering how to view it. So you can open up your terminal. Two pressed. Oh, jeez, I don't know what to do. Do that every time. As you can see, this is gonna, this is blinking that light right there. It's blinking because it's in use. And, you know, you got your terminal, so type root, see if, yeah, see, you can't find it. So, you need to type, <clears throat> what was it, it's cd home, and a cd slash home slash quick space o s dot t x t. I can't cd to it, so let's just do cd slash home slash. Now we do quick space o space s dot t x t. I don't know what I did, but I did the best thing in the world. So, we are going to close out with the X, of course. And yes, I just exited. You can do two desks, two desktops. Application, um, how about we do open box, which apparently won't work. Terminal works. No, I'm not going to install because I don't want to raise my whole hard drive. <laughs> System tools. Screenshot. Yes, you can take a screenshot. God, the sounds are very annoying. I can shut down, which I'm going to do. Well, no, I'm not. No, uh, there's. Top. Oh my god, what is that? Alright, so we're going to. Now you guys are probably wondering how do you shut down, which I just kind of showed you. Very fast operating system because there's nothing else on it but this. 8 gig. Alright, so, in your dock there's a program called Exit.
we're gonna focus on it. And we'll see what it does. So if we click it, it brings up the dialog box. Now you guys are probably wondering. What will be gaming? What is this stupid dialogue box? TC exit options. You can shut down, reboot, exit to prompt, backup options, which I'm not going to do anything. And this weird thing. Just click OK and it'll shut down, killing all processes. Alright, so I'm going to show you that I can boot safely to Windows without breaking anything. So this is going to be flashing rapidly. That, mean, that means that it's loading to be a boot option. Alright, so this is going to boot to Windows. As you can tell. Bam. Now I do not have a pirated software on this. I got it from tinycorelinux.net, and I recommend uh, getting Core Plus because this is the Core Plus OS that I am running. So Core Plus, it's a very good OS for beginning beginner Linux users. It's good for writing websites if you put Mozilla on it. So if you think you liked this operating system, don't forget to leave a like, comment, rate, subscribe, you know, the normals. Um, yeah. So yes, yeah, so I can safely boot up to Windows, and everything still works. My mouse still works. The mouse I'm using is um, an ONN cheapo mouse, but it works amazing. And now I'm gonna boot, and now I'm gonna just shut down. So I'll see you in the next video, guys, and bye.